Well, come back to Filament. Yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that one. Anyways, we are entangling again, because why the heck not? And, uh, okay, I'm already seeing some problems with this proposed solution. I wonder... <laughs> what the heck was that? Um... Ooh, actually, hold on. Actually, hold on. So, I like this game. Uh, but boy, is it wacky. I'm thinking about this, hold on. You know what? Might work. Never mind. This could work. I'm thinking, essentially, that I go around here... Alright, yeah, this... No, this doesn't work. Oh, come on. I was close. I was close with it. I wonder about... No, that's incumbent upon... Shoot. I really should have a, a better way of explaining what I'm trying to do here. Uh... My thought process initially was that I could go around here after going around this one. Alright, let's see if I can... Hold on. Is my cursor visible? Oh, what in the heck? I can move the room around, but no, my cursor isn't visible. L3 to sprint. Yeah, the L3 button. I can rewind quickly, but I don't have an L3... Ah, oh, crap. I restarted the level on accident. I gotta say, I'm sure doing really well. I wonder if it's, like, uh... Hold both? The left button doesn't do anything. Alright, I'm gonna try going... About these... Differently. Because... Well, actually, yeah, this is working out pretty well. But then I get to... Oh, you know what? That's not a problem, because I can go around like that. And... Shoot. Well, hold on then. Maybe I go around like this if I could get through, which I can't. Maybe I go around like this then. Hey, there we go. That works. I'm sure it would be really nice for all of y'all, everybody, if I could sprint in this game. But that doesn't seem to be in the cards. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I think this is probably going to be how this level ends up going. Because if I can only contact the middle one I'm standing right next to from the bottom anyways, that seems to be the case. This looks kind of forced. I'm trying to think about which direction to take some of these from. And I'm drawing blanks just a little bit. Also, there's the problem that this... I think I have to come at this from the other side entirely. Like, I would have to do something like this to contact both of those. So I think that last part is... You know what? Um, how about I start with this one? I said that was forced, but it's not really forced. If I do something like this... Oh, uh, well... Okay, I'm beginning to see more of a problem. With just the way that I'm setting this up already. I don't have any way of going about... The... You know what? Actually, hold on. I interject this here, and I can do something like this. Ah, okay. And then, of course, coming around here, going inside on this loop, and the door's open. Very wonderful. Yeah, this game's wacky. It's still it's still the same puzzle every time, sort of. But uh, I don't have the the biggest problem with that. I'm trying to think about how I would contact any one specific block first. 
this seems to be a failure because I wouldn't be able to go around this block. Oh, and of course that's a failure. Uh, well, maybe something like that to start off with. And then I know. Maybe something... Mm. I might be giving a bit too much credence to the idea of these posts. Okay. Never mind. Um, crap. So it looks like I have to go through... I have to go around the, the top right little thing from, like, the top. That would imply that I have to do something like this. God, it would be really nice if I could run quickly. Maybe I can remap that. I might, I might honestly, uh, just take the time to uh, remap that. Because what in the heck is L3 supposed to be? Select previous robot. There will be multiple robots at some point. Interesting. You know what it might be? Okay, yeah, I okay. I was being stupid. I basically a toggle with the buttons. Makes sense. Uh huh. I mean I hate to say that this might end up being a trial and error uh, level, but it might it's looking like it's possibly gonna turn out that way. Oh boy. Why did I do that? Good question. And the solution I was just thinking of is not going to work out the way I hoped. How is sprint faster than rewind? Alright, we, rewind seems to have a, a specific time frame to it, sort of. That didn't make much sense. Um, maybe something like this. Not that that helps all too terribly much. I have to go around this, though, somehow. That might be the point of the post. The fact that this contacts, but then if I make an angle... Yeah... I, I, I do want to test that for the sake of it, but I don't think that the post has a steep enough angle to contact. No, it doesn't. Alright, well... In that case, I'd have to do something like this and loop back around, but that would imply that... No, that would ne that would never work. There's not actually a, a way for that to work, unless I'm actually completely looping back around on the entire thing. Hmm. Uh, I don't know why I feel like this kind of start holds water. Maybe I would want to start like this... Again, I'm not entirely sure why I think that might be the case. And of course, I can't get through here. Super cool. That might invalidate this entire setup. That one little caveat that I can't get through this, this hole. In which case, we're going back again. This is a conundrum. Alright, I was just kind of workshopping a solution. Um... And I, I reeled myself back in before I got too far along for this to be unsalvageable. But I think something like this might work out. I come back along, loop myself around this post. Yeah, okay, yeah. This seems to be the functioning solution. Very nice. I should do that more often. <laughs> well, let's see here. This is really similar to... Um, this is really similar to one of the previous levels. Uh, it looks like kind of working backwards. Oh, well, maybe not then. This one has to be contacted from that side, so I was thinking I might be able to... Uh, I might be able to, uh, like, loop around this part as the, the, the final stretch. It'd be marking something off. So, I, I find value in it on that alone. <laughs> but that doesn't seem to be the case, and it's not like I could start off this way, because then I'm uh, trapped. 
So let's maybe do a... I'm going to do a bit of experimentation first. But uh, I get the feeling we're not going to get anything too substantial. That... That is a significant difference from the level I was thinking of. So in that case, I might go about this as I would have that level had it not been that way. Well, at the same time, this gets me trapped. Hmm. What I might want to do is interject the kind of top left L piece right here in the sequence. But then I have no means of actually keeping that in contact. So maybe like that? No. And then I'm trapped, so never mind. How would I get this pillar? I guess I might even have to interject it here. But then I wouldn't really have a means of getting this pillar. So uh, I could interject it here. Hell, I could interject it at the very start of the sequence. And then do this. And that takes care of those. Um, hmm. But then I wouldn't... You know what? Okay, I'm going to leave this for the end. I'm thinking what I might end up doing is wrapping around this and going back in there to finish that off. And that should function properly. But then how would I go about getting that? Hmm... Curiouser and curiouser. Here's an idea. I wrap around there. Never mind, that doesn't contact. I don't know what I was going for there, in all, in all honesty. Nor do I know what I'm really going for here. This isn't a terrible idea. What makes me think this isn't a terrible idea? No, I don't actually have the wherewithal to go around any of this crap, so never mind. This was a terrible idea. <laughs> hmm. Uh, well, in that case, inject this a bit further into the sequence, perhaps. That leaves enough room for me to go, like, around here and around this. I feel like I'm getting closer, but also further away in some ways. Like, at current, the only problem I have is this final one. And you know what? No, I would still have that problem. Ah, uh, which one could I... remove from the sequence to not have that problem? How far back... how important... No, that is, a, that is an important part of the sequence, because wrapping around this one basically straighten this out. Hmm. What in the heck? Oh, great. I got the frickin' I got the cord stuck. I'm gonna have to restart. <laughs> oh, boy. I want to I want to go back to trying out this kind of start. I know there are problems. Oh, there's one. Um I want to try this. Maybe something like No, that still leaves this this one I'm I'm standing next to open. But um how much do I care? Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I leave that open, and then I come back around here, go through here, it, of course, doesn't contact this... Come on! Alright. In that case, I wonder, does that really not contact? Of course not. That would be way too convenient. Could I just do this at the start, then? No, because then I don't have anything to... Oh, wait, hold on. No, I have the door. I can just wrap around that last. All right. Oh, my gosh. Thought process there was way too hectic. I got to really think more about the things I'm doing. 
Uh, geez. Um, such as. Well, here's the deal. Is that. What's going on there? That opens nothing. That doesn't actually open anything. Also, this looks like there's some kind of gate. Like, um, around, specifically around the, uh, hold on, let me, let me unravel. I don't, I'm never sure if these, like, cuboid kind of moving things are supposed to be strict walls. Yeah, I guess so, never mind. They're just, they're stylized. Very cool. Hold the phone. That's a bit wacky. I can fit through there, though, so I think that might be a good start. I don't want to. I don't want to cross over any door frames. So let's try that. It's interesting that that contacts. Um, but hey, I'm not complaining. That works. Ooh. Um. Hmm. I I don't know what I was going for here, honestly. <laughs> Let's see about, maybe, this works. This works, somehow. No, it doesn't. I was, I was close to it working. Um, you know, in reverse, this almost works. But I cross over my own line. Oh, boy. This is intriguing. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can't trace this backwards... Basically, just enough to end up kind of going about this backwards. Uh, so let's see about this one. Perhaps something more akin to... Uh, oh boy. This... I say this like I really have a, uh, anything in mind. Perhaps, there we go, more akin to this. Now that I'm over here, I can do, okay, hold on, something like this, and then I don't even go through that door, I just come back over here. All right, okay, yeah, that works. <laughs> a bit, a uh, uh, really kind of just tangling myself around there over on the left, but I don't mind much. Hmm? Yes, it is. Oh, Vermilion! I... I don't care. Wow, you people know about the Breakfast Club? Sheesh. Breakfast Club is a timeless classic, even in the far future. Not that I'm gonna deny that as being the case. I wonder how well I would be able to just do this without actually looking at it again. Let's find out! To the terminal! I think I'm going to have to go by... Um, I'm going to have to kind of go just by uh, like one anchor per episode, because... Episode 1 was a, a bit longer than I would have hoped. Oh, uh, let's see if I remember where exactly this goes. I'm not gonna look. Okay, I'm gonna look. Unless... Okay, I'm gonna look. Uh, focus inventory. I was, I was close. I was on to something. But I, I did, in fact, need to still do this. There we go. Ah ha ha ha. I love hacking into people's stuff. Entry number four. Not sure what all effect uh, the colonies and the vessels and all that jazz. A uh, bunch of blah blah blah. Finding myself a little lost at the moment. Don't care. Offer to help Juniper and Pistachio. Hey, Juniper. That's the one we're talking to. Anyways. Dang, you really take thorough notes. The kittens? Nice, where are those? Which, 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 uh, which of these unlockable boxes are, are they hidden in? 
Okay, well that, uh, hold on. Do we get a map screen? No, we don't. Map screen is terminal. What the heck is happening here? This is where we built the oh, okay. Oh, I see. I forgot that she asked if I wanted to know anything. I should have given her a firm no, but unfortunately, like a lot of games, my character is mute. Systems report! We have, in fact, completed all the anchors in this room. So, going by room almost seems like a good idea, but I think just going by anchor is maybe a bit better based on how long these seem to take. But I'll, I'll do what I can about maybe even clearing out this top room, depending on how long the puzzles take. Like, it shouldn't be bad, but it might be a little wacky. Not that I mind, but you know, I just figure uh, I don't want to. I don't want to like drop twenty million thirty-minute videos. It's bad enough that I'm doing the uh, cleanup in Batman right now, uh, and that's Wednesdays. This is Thursdays. I don't need long form two days of the week back to back. That's like supposed to be what Friday is for to stave you off through the weekend. But uh, it's not like I really do anything like that, so you know. Ah, whatever. Till next week. Like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'm going to build an anchor on you. It'll be really heavy, and you won't be able to diffuse it or whatever. I don't even know what the heck these things are supposed to be. I guess they're supposed to be locks for these, like, cash boxes. I'm not going to lie. The color scheme reminds me of the handheld version of Mastermind. And the fact that this is an unlocking and opening thing kind of game does not help that analogy get uh, further from the truth. So, yeah, I'll, I'll leave you with that one to think about. <laughs> Till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I already said this. God, I have dementia. I, uh, I should run for office. Um... Maybe. This might get cut out. Ah, who am I kidding? I never cut anything out anyways. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.